This is not financial advice, not legal advice for entertainment, educational purposes only, and anything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. Listen, the BRICS nations are not playing. They are going after the U.S. dollar. Their goal is to decimate the U.S. dollar, which, in my opinion, will have a detrimental effect on our economy, make things more expensive. And in my opinion, all this is the fault of the SEC. Okay, the SEC allowed the bad actors to do, do whatever they want, whenever they want. And, and now, now these foreign nations are going after the US dollar by trying to eliminate the SWIFT system. And for those of you who are not familiar with the SWIFT system, the SWIFT system is how everybody usually transfers money internationally. You go into the SWIFT system, you put the money in, you transfer it to another bank with a SWIFT address, and, and vice versa. That's how it's been working probably for the last 30 years. But the BRICS nations are trying to eliminate the SWIFT system altogether, which I believe if not cripple, but seriously hurt the way dollars are being used for transfers. They have this BRICS pay system now, and it's kind of like a debit card slash credit card type system where these BRICS nations are going to be able to send money back and forth between each other without utilizing the U.S. dollar. So if you get more nations involved in this BRICS pay system, the U.S. dollar will stop being a reserve currency because because of the SWIFT system, almost every country on the, in the world has to keep dollars on hand as a reserve currency in order to utilize the SWIFT system. But if this BRICS pay system eliminates SWIFT altogether, then there's no need to have dollars as reserve because they serve no purpose whatsoever. And I believe this is a threat to our national security. I've said it multiple times in the past. And of course, the shills think I'm crazy. But this BRICS pay system, if it's accepted and implemented by a majority of nations, it could have a detrimental effect on the U.S. economy. You guys all know that the Russian BRICS summit is coming up. So now we have the BRICS pay, and I believe they're going to be discussing using XRP for international trade also, international money transfer. So if you have the combination of the BRICS pay and XRP, and we see how the United States of America is fighting XRP tooth and nail, and I've told you guys that I believe it's because the banks are putting pressure on the SEC to delay XRP as much as possible. But, but if other nations accept XRP for money transfer, they, ex they accept the BRICS pay for money transfers, what do you guys think that's going to do to the value of the U.S. dollar? What do you think is going to happen with a U.S. dollar as a reserve currency for a lot of these countries? They won't have any need for the U.S. dollar. I am hoping that the BRICS pay system isn't successful because I believe that the U.S. dollar needs to maintain its dominance. I do believe that XRP is going to be imp going to be implemented and when it does it is going to be the quickest and fastest way for anybody to send money internationally and with the USA fighting with XRP they're going to be playing catch up okay but the bottom line is this the BRICS pay system seems to be in place.
they have their big meeting in Russia. If they implement the BRICS pay system along with XRP, they're going to start to replace the U.S. dollar for international money transfers. Anyway, please leave some comments. Tell me what you think. Do you think the BRICS pay system or the BRICS pay is a threat to the dollar's dominance? Anyway, have a great day. God bless and I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.